Today, the Empire Media Express was confined to an inclusive group called Kibra Council of Bishops. The event was held in Kibra and was hosted by Bishop Andrew Ojembo of Free Pentecostal Churches. There were over 100 clerical leaders in attendance. Prayers were conducted and greetings sent to all the churches. The opening remarks were full of love and generosity. The servant of God who delivered the main sermon was marked by meekness and modesty. He was in a state of being emotionally aroused and worked up. In point fact, his preaching gave rise to feelings of great warmth and intensity amongst the leaders. Immediately after the moralistic rebuke, a temporally organized plan for matters to be attended to was laid down by Bishop Uma. Bishop Uma also read the short notes of the previous meeting that was characterized by painstaking care and detailed examination. Subsequently, leaders were requested urgently to respond favorably to the list of matters that were taken up. Many of them desired the Council to have a more clearer underlying structure in view of the mission statement of the Council. Some wanted the leaders to demonstrate responsibility for their future activities, while others wanted a Council with the refined quality of gracefulness and good taste in regard to personal conduct. In the way indicated, the following points were spoken with emphasis. a. Leadership and responsibility. b. Competence and suitability. c. Honesty and discipline. D. Integrity and Transparency. Ultimately, every leader promised solemnly and formally to be open and sincere in their ministerial or priestly functions and to foster cooperation with state organs for purposes of harmonious relations amongst the communities in Kibra. After the forum, they came together for a press release. This is what they had to say. We want to thank God so much today. It's a great day. My name is uh, Jeremiah Mugala. I minister with Christ Co-workers Fellowship and we have a congregation here in Woodley and uh, let me say I've been here for a long time over 40 years seeing Kibera coming into new faces and I've seen today what has happened today it's a great thing something that has been done for a long long time having now an association of men and the women of God coming together um, for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of the gospel. And uh, I want to thank God because now in uh, this region we have a voice when like we want to bring up an issue, we want to explain ourselves. We have a voice. We have our chairman, we have assistant chairman, we have uh, um, uh, the team there, we have the secretary there, and we want to move on. I want to say two things, or three. Number one, um, in this we are designing the body of Christ. It's not a personal agenda, it's not a, a, a one church thing. It is the body of Christ. And so we are seeing the body of Christ um, coming to some place of maturity. If we can have all these men and the women of God coming together. Number two thing that I want to say here is that we want to be a people who add value. Who add value according to uh, Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3. And uh, moving on to verse uh, 7 up to 8 and 9. We want to add value and, and uh, adding unto that faith that we've been given. So in uh, doing this, little by little, we are not perfect and we are trusting God to move to perfection. But for now, as we get moving on, we want to trust God little by little, line by line, precept upon precept to see that uh, we have uh, uh, structured ourselves in this region so that uh, we are able to bring forth that which is uh, intended for us in this region. We are able to live unto our purpose as, uh, as uh, the, the Church of Christ in this region. And then number three, number three, I want to say that the perception that uh, has been about Kibera that perception has ma, 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 must now go because people have always said Kibera is for people who are just begging. Uh, Kibera are for nothing good can come from Kibera. We want to 
allow that narrative to change because now seeing this men and the women of God and you, as you can see all of us uh, together here uh, coming together the way we are and, and uh, the, from different uh, organized fellowships it shows that something good is happening and indeed something good is happening in this region and uh, we want to uphold it we want to pray for it we want to trust God to see ourselves go to another level so we want to thank God and uh, if you watch this clip we want to appeal to you just pray for us pray with us as we get moving on into the greater thing that God has for us we have our chairman um, uh, Paul Lidi Bishop Paul Lidi and uh, we have our assistant chairman um, uh, Bishop Sami Mbuka we have our organizing secretary who is Andrew Ouma and all of us we want to move together we want to support this leadership together with the team that is working with them we will give them our full support and then trust God to see revival break in Kibera. Thank you so much. God bless you. And uh, uh, come to Kibera, visit us, and we will be glad to be a blessing to you. Thank you. I'm Bishop Sami Buka, the Bishop of Glory Manifestation Ministry, uh, based in Kibera here. And now, graciously, been appointed as the assistant chairman of this great city. I want to say uh, a, good, a, a big thanks to the Lord because uh, this is what we have been looking for. We have many fellowships in Kibera, but we have decided now to come together as much as the fellowships will remain, but we are coming together as the body of Christ in the city of Kibera to see that we work together to glorify the Lord in Kibera. So we have all of us welcomed this idea. And all of us, we have agreed to work together as the pastors of the clergy in Kibra to see that the gospel of Jesus Christ is, is preached to the, to the ends of Kibra. And we want to thank the Lord for that. And once again, I want to say that uh, we are ready now to move. We have launched it today. We have, uh, we have set the fire moving. And we are believing that the fire will continue to where we shall meet. Thank you so much. Welcome. Amen. Uh, my name is uh, Bishop Paul Mbiki, the presenting bishop of New Life uh, Resource Services International. We are based here in Story Market in Kibera. And uh, it's a great, day is a great day. 2nd October 23, we go down in history. It's one of uh, those, those moments uh, when the church Christ in Kibera spoke together with one voice. And uh, we stand here as a team to express our unity, the unity of purpose, knowing that uh, uh, we, have a, uh, we have a role to play in this community as the Church of Christ, uh, first and foremost to preach uh, uh, the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ and get people that, that come to the kingdom of God. And besides that also, to attend to the uh, community, uh, needs of the community. Uh, there are so many needs in, here in Kibera, as you all know. And as a church, we know that as we work together with uh, the, 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 uh, the government and every other person that uh, uh, is here to help the people of Kibera to move on, as a church of Christ here, uh, we come as one, uh, uh, one, 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 one united force uh, to speak with one, boys uh, to say that from today henceforth uh, we want to uh, uh, make sure that uh, uh, we as a church we are speaking one voice and we uh, that we, we we forge ahead together just like uh, my uh, uh, fellow uh, committee members have said we want to see growth we want to see progress we want to see people's needs met and we can all uh, do all that if we walk together. That's why we did today, like I say, it's a very, very important uh, moment for all, for all of us and we, we thank God for uniting us. We have put all our differences aside uh, because we belong to different churches, yes, but what is most important, the common denominator is that Jesus Christ is our Savior, is our Lord, 
and want to work on the team to make sure that the vision and the purpose for coming together is achieved. We shall get better and we shall move together to make sure that in every, every aspect of life uh, we have uh, a, a very good, good report out there. Not just people from, uh, uh, from, uh, from the slums, no. We may be in the slums, yes, but we have, we have something good can, uh, that we can, we can show everybody from this part of, of the city of Nairobi. So again, uh, as you view this clip and you see us, uh, just like our, our patron, uh, as I'm gonna say, we need your prayers, we need your support. And uh, uh, anytime you're able to uh, come and give us a word of advice here and there, or you need us to come and, and also uh, provide a suggestion, a proposal, we're here to work together for the good of our people here in this part of the city. God bless you, and let, uh, we are trusting God that uh, the future that lies ahead of us shall be wonderful and better than what we have today and the day before. God bless you. Yeah. Yeah, so my name is uh, Bishop Andrew Oma. I am a uh, minister in this city for quite some time. <laughs> and uh, what the Lord has done in our ministry this afternoon is amazing. The fact that God is able to bring about a hundred churches together for a common cause, to move together in one spirit and one accord, as the Bible says. We pray that the Lord shall give us more grace for ministry. Uh, the chairman has said we put our different aside and uh, we want to focus on the one enemy, which is the devil, and the the gospel. So this is a, 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 a strong team that is moving together for this kingdom, bringing churches together in this community and this city of Kibera, and as I've said in the house, bringing life to the city. Lord bless you, live, live long together. In Jesus' name and God's people say, Amen. Amen. What is Empire Media Express? Empire Media Express is a YouTube channel geared to bring you latest international news. The mission is possible. We are finally at Nyaya National Stadium. At the Nyaya National Stadium, you can see, let him pan around. Pan around, ah, Julius. Let them see, let them see, let them see, let them see. That this is it, this is it. The thing is huge. We are putting more tents because we expect thousands, thousands, and thousands. And people will be all over the pavilions and everywhere because something good is about to happen. Christian News. Knowledge. Ministry Empowerment. Labda tuseme hali ya mbuka, hali pata ajari, hali pilo, hali fanyini ya paa. Lakini kuna kitu kidogo kutu, sima nini. Huyu destiny yake ni kubwa. Destiny yake ni nini? Ni kubwa. Umenelewa. Kitu kimoja wa jiko control. Yepuka kitu kimikitu wa matumbe. We are very strong. Wewe nesu kakusha kawida kwa msukuma mkili vitu, mpana mia. Updates. Uh, Pastor Jim Turner here, and today we are going to do some street outreach ministry in Haruma, uh, here in Kenya. And we are so excited. God bless you. Inspirational. We went right to the grassroots, and uh, it was everywhere in the airwaves. And again, the teachings that we are getting in the conference. They are very contemporary, they are full of inspiration, and they are a blessing. Motivation. Get to know when Benny Hinn is coming to Kenya. Be sure to subscribe to our channel.